All right, so we've got the patrol, and uh, I just want to give a quick rundown of the different tyre casings we've got. So it can get a bit confusing. You've got Mini DHF, and then I oh, yeah, get a DHF. Well, which one do I get? Do I get the 3C? Do I get the 3C Max Grip, the Max Terra? Do I get a Double Down? Do I get an EXO? Do I get a DH casing? There's a lot of options. So clear the air on what the uh, stuff means. A lot of people already know, know this stuff, but uh, you know, put the info out there for everyone. So, on my bike, on the front, I like a lot of grip. So, I've always run the DHF. I've diddled back and forth. I used to run a high roll or two at the front. But anyway, for this uh, this video, we're talking the DHF. Comes in a 3C max grip. Comes in just a dual. So that's a three, the 3C three means three compounds or triple compound. Comes in a dual compound, which is just XOTR. It doesn't state that it's a dual compound. It just states that uh, it's XO protection and tubeless ready, TR. We got a Minion DHF in a 3C Max Terra, TR, so tubeless ready, double down. And on the end here, we got the Minion DHF 3C Max Grip in a DH casing. So my bike, I'm running XO casing at the front. And currently, I'm running EXO casing at the rear as well, in the Aggressor. So the Aggressor is a dual compound. Now, dual compound means that the base layer of the tyre, so the stuff that's under all of this tread, is 70A, which is the durometer reading. Uh, for sure, just grill me in the comments if, I'm, if I get this wrong, but um, yeah, 70A for the base, and then this DHF is 60A all over, so it's 60A in the middle and 60A on the side knobs. So two compounds, it's got the 70A base and the 60A grip on the top, which isn't very grippy, fast rolling, hard wearing, uh, lasts quite a while, a little bit more robust than the, than the, the 3C Max Terra, for instance. So that dual compound is a rear tyre to me. I'd never put one on the front, I've ridden bikes with one on the front, and it's sketchy. It's not safe at the front. It can let go at any time. Uh, to me, a front tire should always be grip, and it should always be. If you're going for maxis, it should always be a 3C Max Terra or a 3C Max Grip. So, moving on, we've got a 3C Max Terra here, double down, which means it's instead of one layer of 60 TPI uh, threads per inch, which is the the layup of the of the casing itself so I'm not too well versed on that stuff but this instead of being a single wall it's a dual wall or a double wall with 120 so it's two layers of 120 TPI thread per inch casing so quite thick and quite uh, tear resistant very impressed with the double down tires pretty much a go-to back tire for me even though I've got the the EXO on the back so Double down is the next layer up from EXO. EXO is a single layer of 60 TPI. It's a little bit more robust, but it's only a single layer. Double down for the back is gonna be almost bulletproof. Really, really good. The 3C Max Terra. So same again with the 70A base layer. So the base of the, of the tire is 70A. And then we move into the middle, which I believe in the Max Terra is 50A. And then the corners are 45A. So the lower the number uh, with the A after it, uh, which is your durometer reading, the lower the number, the stickier the rubber is, the softer the rubber is. So 70 as a base, 50 in the middle, 45 on the sides for a Max Terra. These double downs may be a little bit different. This is what I, what I know of the EXO, um, but the double downs more or less feel the same. If anything, they feel a little bit more soft um, and gummy. So, DH casing. So we've got we've gone from a double down casing, which still has a Kevlar bead, it's tubeless ready, to a DH casing. Not tubeless ready, it's got a wire bead. Uh, very, very robust, very heavier tyre. It's probably 200 grams heavier than the double down, and the double down's 200 grams heavier than the than the EXO in the same tyre. The DH casing on the bike feels very, very supple, feels excellent, uh, very much dumbs down the ride at lower speeds, but at high speed you definitely appreciate the DH casing. Uh, it won't tear, or it's very, very hard to tear, I should say. Uh, quite heavy, 
max grip is same story so it's the three compounds so it's the base layer 70a and then the top i believe is 45 and then the sides are either 42 or 40 so extreme amounts of grip they definitely feel more supple than the 3c max terra a little bit slower rolling in the max grip whether it's in a dh casing a double down or a exo a little bit slower rolling very 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 confidence inspiring so i always run a max grip on the front of my bike now it's just that it's just got a little bit more when things get really loose it's just going to hold on a little bit longer than a max terra but for my recommendation if you're looking for a new front tire definitely go and a max a max terra at the very least get a 3c max terra don't get a dual compound if your bike came with a dual compound and you want to be kind of safe in the almost fell over there safe in the loose stuff definitely go a 3c max terra 3c max grip is going to be better like i said a little bit slower rolling off the start uh, but it's a little bit more supple and uh, feels excellent so these dual compounds that just says xotr on the side stick it on the back save it if it comes on the front of your bike take it off and save it as a back tire because it's an excellent rear tire this is always was my go-to rear tire it was between that and the dhr2 in the xotr so excellent tires but now I'm starting to really, really like this Aggressor. So Aggressor in the 2.5, definitely better than an Aggressor in the 2.3. Uh, feels supple, it's a nice big bag, it's got a nice big, big volume to it. And it feels excellent. It doesn't feel like it's 70A and 60A. It feels like this stuff on top and sides may even be 50A. So I don't know what their dual compound for the Aggressor is, but it only comes in a dual compound. It doesn't come in a 3C as far as I know. So. Impressed with the aggressor, dual compound at the back, it's more than enough, but you need that grip at the front. So save your pennies, get yourself a 3C for the front, 2.5 I like, 2.3 is fine as well, but that'll give you a bit of an idea. So EXO, good enough protection, if you're charging hard, you want to go a double down casing, a little bit heavier, and then if you're riding full on downhill or you want tires, you know, you got a hard tail, you want a tire on the back that's not going to get blown out, I'd go a DH casing, dual compound, DHF or DHR2. But dual compound will roll a bit faster than a 3C on the back. If you get in a DH casing or a double down, it'll most certainly do you proud. It'll, it'll, it'll be resistant to cuts, it'll be resistant to punctures. It'll last the life of the tire, you know, depending, depending on how how much mistreatment you give it so yeah that's just a rundown of the the maxi's grip and uh you know what i think about them and and what i prefer so yeah feel free to grill me in the comments if i get any of that wrong but that's all good happy riding and get some grip up the front for sure